y'all see that 28 degrees 28 degrees after having some 80 degree days and uh we're going fishing on the 28 degree day anyway the water has jumped up about four to five feet at pickwick and we're headed that way to see if we can catch them. I know a lot of bass had moved shallow from what I've been hearing over the last week or so. Um, so hopefully the cold temperatures won't mess them up too bad. We'll see. Uh, the high water and current should push them up shallow as long as the water, you know, above 60 degrees or so, I think we'll do just fine. Uh, Cause it was up into the lower seventies a couple weeks ago. So uh, it should be back, you know, even with with the cold nights and chilly days, you know, I would think it can't be below 60, but we'll see when we get there. Y'all stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but the water is in the bushes. And it's clear, it's about to be on. About to get nasty. They come back and got it. Oh. Number uno. See what he was on that little old bitty isolated bush right there. Oh, red eye. Mm-hmm. I felt him just tick at that time, and I had slack. And I was like, uh huh. I'm facing a Gerald Swindle your butt. <laughs> slack line, hook set in the face. What kind of sucks about this though, too? Is and it doesn't suck, but you're looking up there and you're seeing all that fresh cover, and that's what you want to flip in, but you gotta drag it back a little ways because sometimes it'll sit on the old bank line, too. Yeah. And it sucks because I'm like, man, I want to flip in that one, that one, that one. But if you don't, one of the biggest bush flipping fishes I ever caught was in this pocket, and he was on the old bank line right over there. Fishing the old banks. They oh. fish more flooded lakes on MLS. Yeah. But they are big on that old shoreline. Yeah. On them flooded. Now I see usually the best of it if the fish is, if the fish have pulled in the bushes, the best of it is in the new cover. Especially on pickwick. And it's like I was listening to a podcast this morning, one of the guides on this lake, or two of them were talking and uh they were just talking about the reason these fish get in these bushes is because, the, you know, it's new to them. It's something different. It only happens when the water is warm enough for them to actually get in the bushes. It really only happens maybe once a year. And here lately it's been uh, two years, I think, since it's done it. So it's just a... That's why they pull up in here so strong. Mm-hmm. Another one with spots on it. Bloody tail too. He was on the outside edge. Yeah, he ain't bad. Black spot on him. Right in the nose. Yeah. Uh-oh, Megan. <laughs> it is a good fish. Oh gosh, you got him all wrapped up. Here, let me. You want a picture? Yeah, yeah bloody tail. Yeah, take a picture. I don't ever get a picture. There you go. Hey, thank you, bud. Like a brim, I set the hook on his butt. Because I knew, like, he bit it. Like a. He bit, you could tell there was some weight to the bite. You know what I mean? that one <clears throat> old bank line fish again I think that's pretty much where they are is just old bank line <clears throat> boy he got a hook oh yeah probably two and a half pounds Yeah, that was that day I think Shaw Grigsby 
uh, cut his hand open and yeah, stuck it through. Hey, where were they at that day? Uh, yeah, he's a pretty nice one. Well, he had a stick attached to him too for a minute. That fish had it for probably 30 minutes because I was digging a backlash out for a long time. Oh, yes, there goes the rest of my windshield. That's a nice fish. Uh, Fish is pretty and you're ugly, so I got the right Sounds about normal. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to chalk this one up as a lesson learned video. Uh, of course, me being the sucky videographer I am, I uh, didn't get two good fish that I caught on camera. But anyway, that's kind of beside the point. Y'all got enough footage to see uh, why I'm chalking this up as a lesson learned video. It's because... The water had just gotten high about two days before that had started getting high and we had the cold temperatures move in so I guess that caused those fish not to pull up in the bushes like they usually do. It usually takes them you know about two days three days to get in the bushes. Well this was two days after the water had come up and the temperature as I told you at the beginning of the video was 28 degrees. So we got there and me being the stubborn, hard-headed dude I am, wanting them to be in the bushes, or wanting to catch them out of the bushes, I uh, kept flipping bushes, flipping bushes, and we caught a few on the old bank line. Well, about the fifth fish in, I should have caught onto that, you know, start to cover water, started throwing like a square bill or something on the old bank line just to try to dial that in a little bit more, but I didn't. I kept flipping bushes, kept flipping bushes, and as I said in part of the video, you got to kind of drag it out because some of them will be on the old bank line. Well, in this case, I think all of them were. I don't think we caught but one fish in the newly flooded bushes. So uh, y'all learn from my lesson. And uh, when the water gets high and you want to go flip new cover, uh, it doesn't always work that way. So always keep an open mind and be willing to fish the old bank line. Because even when the water is high, you still have half your fish on the old bank line anyway, especially when they had already moved up to spawn and they're not just using the newly flooded cover as a feeding opportunity. Um, so anyway, guys, I just want to share that with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to putting out the next one. Thank y'all for watching and God bless you.